Welcome to Dazzlers. Welcome back to Daz Games, and we are back with another Daz Watches. I have literally just got back uh, from the vacation of a lifetime. I went out to Panama with my girlfriend. Then we went to Machu Picchu. Where, if you haven't been on my Instagram, first of all, why? What are you doing? What are you doing? Second of all, I uh, proposed at Machu Picchu, and I'm now engaged. <laughs> That's right. This catch is off the market. I'm set to be wed. It was amazing. Like, um, Im imagine climbing a mountain and then proposing. Like, she must love me because I, one, I was having some sort of asthma attack. It's never like the movies. It's not like, my love, I foresaw this in a dream. Will you marry me? For me, it was just more like, Sweating out my ass, everything, and she said yes. So, your boy. <laughs> also, office. What? It's coming along, isn't it? It's not even finished yet. It's it's looking a bit more professional, isn't it? It's coming along. It's coming along. When I'm actually home for more than two days, I'll do it. I feel great. I'm so happy. Um, thank you for all the love on um the Instagram post and all your well wishes. You guys have known for years um, some of the things I've gone through and to finally find someone um, that just makes me happy uh, is amazing. Early days yet, yeah. we'll, we'll see We'll see if um, she can put up with me. <laughs> anyway guys, life shit over. Let's get into today's video. We're carrying on the theme here on Daz Watches. If you remember the last one we did, it was a weird mother and daughter that thought it was perfectly normal to do OnlyFans together. <clears throat> we continue in the theme. Shortly after that, you guys were sending me a video Called mother and daughter like to share a bed naked. I mean only fans was one thing and they, and, and For the most part for to my knowledge they were clothed, but this one takes it to a whole nother level. That is the title That's all I know. So let's get into the video Shall we? I'm Paula. I'm 27 years old And you're just naked in front of the camera crew getting a healthy snack though, so Okay I mean, nudists have been around since, well, before clothes. <laughs> in a perfect world, I would spend all the hours in the day with my mom naked. And I'm done. <laughs> would that be a perfect world? You know, you get to the point where, you know, you have a child and it's fun when they're like little babies and you can like get the bath with them and stuff. But after a while, like I, you know, no child wants their earliest memories. You know, when you're about like four or five, sometimes earlier, you start retaining shit. You do not want your child's first image to just be your dad's dick. No, <laughs> no, no one wants that image ever in their heads. That's the perfect world. No dad dick, no mum titties, nothing in your head. So I don't know what this perfect world is that she's envisioning. Hopefully she never comes to power. Good morning. Good morning. This is yours, cause I know you like oh, less. Okay. Look, even the dog doesn't want to look. The dog knows it's wrong and he's constantly nude. What is this? What, why is she blended up an onion? Whatever the fuck it was. I brought that in, but this is very relationshipy. Is it not? Is it not, look, you made, me, you made me do bird hands. Bird hands! Stop it! I am Francia. I am 46 years old. Piss off, are you? 46 years old? She's like 10 years older than me. And she looks like she could be my daughter. How have you done that? I, I guess your daughter bringing you blended up vegetables naked is the secret. And I am the mother of this beautiful, wonderful... She looks like her mum. She must send her daughter out naked to bring babies back and drink their blood. There's some youth syrup going on here. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I don't know anymore. I don't know what to, I don't know what you want me to say. What do you want from me anymore? This is just wrong. It doesn't matter if they're stood on a mountain. But her mum, her mum has clothes on though. So why? Why'd you have to be naked though with with your mum? Uh, it does it doesn't improve your relationship, surely. Yummy, yummy. There is no another person that I have more fun with than with my daughter. That's probably why you're single. And you live in a museum. Literally, sometimes I ask her, "Are we weird?" <laughs> yes! Ha <laughs> ha! 
100% yes. Weird is an understatement. She's always been the cool mom because she's so much fun. There are a lot of like mums and dads out there that will not abandon their youth, right? I don't mind telling you, right? When some of my friends that are a bit younger than me and they're like, yo, dad's going out to the club. I'm like, it sounds like an actual nightmare. Do you have any idea what, when you get to my age, like I'm 37, right? When you get to my age, a bath and slippers, that's where it's at. That is where it's at. You may all laugh, right, my younger audience, but wait, wait, blink, and then clubbing, sweating, STDs, that suddenly becomes unappealing. Bath. I can't tell you what a bath does for me now. All I want to do is go home and have a bath. Tea. Tea and a bath. We dance a lot to anything. Music is so important in our culture. Yeah. Oh God, they make TikTok. Of course they're TikTokers. Do you know what? Side rant. TikTokers. I don't mean people like me. People that make comment, that just post videos. This sort of TikToker that just does this in public. Fuck off. I, the cringe is on another level, right? I went to Egypt, right, with my now fiance, okay? We weren't engaged back then, but we went we went on a trip to Egypt to see the pyramids because we, neither of us have been. So we go up into the into the Great Pyramid, right? Because you can go up inside it and it takes ages to climb up through this tomb. They've got stones that were from thousands of miles away. They weigh more than a house. Like, ah, oh, unimaginable. Thousands of years to build these things. Possibly aliens got involved. You don't know where you are. You think, wow, these people built this just to send, you know, people up to the heavens. It's a lot of effort. We get up to the top. It's a true story. Get up to the top into the main chamber. I shit you not, there's one of these women, right, inside the sarcophagus, right, doing this. Talking in the sarcophagus. She's grinding her ass up against it, right? The security guard in the corner, he's helping her film it. <laughs> Imagine being the Egyptian gods, like Ra's up there in the heavens, like. Bitch. Right? Am I, am I wrong, guys? Bitch. They built all that, right? Just so in the future, some twat can twerk inside of it. Imagine it! Imagine! Can't stand people that touch things like a world wonder that's ro eroding away. They carve their names into it. Jason and Allison forever. Pyramid won't be there forever though, will it? Because you lot won't stop fucking drawing on it! Oh god damn it! I couldn't believe my eyes. I just wanted a picture inside the, and I left. I just left. It ruined everything for me. TikTokers who dance in public, piss off. In Colombia, for you to see each other naked in your family, it's extremely common. Is it? I went to Colombia and everyone had a shirt. I didn't see one tit. I, I saw nothing, not even an ass cheek. I, no, everyone was dressed. I was actually the least dressed there. I was sweating my ass off. But everyone there was acclimatized and dressed. Never seen it. Cooked and cleaned naked. I do everything naked. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get arrested naked as well. I know everything about Paula. I know even when she goes and do number two. Oh. Why do you want to know that? I, sometimes I don't even want to know when I've gone to toilet. If I went upstairs right now to my daughter, I said, Sarah, when did you last go to the toilet? Child services will be here in like two seconds or something. Like she'd text them. Like uh, I'd be I'd be gone. That's it. Why? Why do you want to know? She tells me. She's like. Oh, she tells you. That makes it less weird. I'm about to do number two, and I was like, Me too. Let's do it together. Ah! How about no? God damn it! How'd you do it together? Just one sit on one's lap. How'd you do it together? How'd you do? How? Now I want to know that. Hey, she ran to her bathroom. I ran to my bathroom. I was like, okay, do it in separate bathrooms. That makes sense. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay, did you finish? Yes. Yeah, we did it together. <laughs> no one will ever love me. I'll deal with this. <laughs> 
Oh, God. It's a shame Jerry Springer died. He would have loved these two. I know, but I wanted to you do it. You want to be me so bad. I feel we're... Don't do that. Don't do that like that. Don't do it. There is not a word that describes the love that I have for my daughter. Nonce. That's a word that comes to mind. It's, it is a bit, like, I'm not being, I'm not being over the top or mean, am I? Like, it is, it is a bit incestual. Is it? Does it give you those vibes? Some say they might call us ignorant. I don't know. But if you're going to put yourself out on the internet and tell everyone this, I expect criticism, you know? I put myself on the internet almost every day. I expect to get criticised. Some are like Daz, love your videos, fantastic. Others are like Daz, you're fat. I, I take both. Uh, throw that one away, because I'm plump. There's a difference. Because she's always requesting my time, and she told me I just need five minutes that we can go to bed and tickle each other and... Right, okay, all right. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I, I'm definitely not being, like, dramatic now, am I? You know? Let's go to bed and tickle each other. Mum. Oh, God. It, it, in no culture does that seem right, does it? It might have been right in, like, Fred West's house. Have some fun. We usually either meditate or we tell each other jokes. You, you can do that in a pub. You could do that in a living room with a bra on. Like, you, you, you don't have... You don't have to tell jokes in bed naked with your mum to have to be happy. I'm happy. Look at me right now, right? I'm happy. Sat in a chair. Dick's not out. Mum's not in the room. I'm happy. She's like, I'm gonna tickle you until you die. And she's oh, fuck. <laughs> Anyone ever says that to me, it's over. No. I'm gonna tickle you till you die. Dying. How long would you have to tickle someone to kill them? That's a question to ask ChatGPT, isn't it? The only thing that I will change a little bit is she doesn't feel that I don't spend enough time with her. Really? I, I think there's like this, uh, I mean, even the way she's looking at her, I think she's got some sort of like obsessive compulsive like thing towards her mum. She's very like possessive. And, and it's, I think growing up, sometimes parents, can, like, I think the mother's like maybe a bit lonely, too child, like no one would want her. And she's just, her whole world has been her daughter. And that should, you know, more or less be the case with your kids. Like my daughter, I consider her a massive, big part of my world. She's my daughter. I love her. But that don't make your kids' life, don't make their world you. Like they're growing. They need to span out learn how to socialize and live in the world that we live in and if all that attention's going back to you they're not growing as an individual as a person they're not finding their identity their identity is going to be you and that's how it's challenging for me to have a relationship i i used to have a boy yeah i imagine it is no 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 partner is going to deal with this shit a friend and she had a feeling towards him like he's taking my mother away and there you go exactly you know, she's so defensive and like obsessive about her mum. So she's never gonna have a relationship. So effectively, them being this close, like too close and far too nude, eventually they're gonna resent each other because life will go by and they did nothing but just sit in bed and drink green shit. Away from me. I try to influence her love life. If I don't like a guy she's seeing, I tell- It's none of your business. This is none of your business. It's your mum's life. Tell her you shouldn't see him anymore. I don't like him for you. You deserve better. I want what's best for her. You, know? you, you want her 24-7, but her mum's just giving in. And she's allowing this weird behavior. Recently, a guy asked me out and I told the guy, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm with my mom. Oh. It's, 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 am I, am I, is there like more than just feelings? Like not that like normal feelings towards her mother here. Like, are they? Is there something incestual here? Because it it's coming off as that. Tell me if I'm wrong. Right now, I'm in the process of adopting my niece Alejandra. From Alejandra is the daughter of my dear sister. Oh no. 
Aleandra is going to be turned into a fucking umbrella by her new big sister because she ain't going to like that attention going elsewhere. I hope Aleandra, when she grows up, her dream was to be a throw rug because uh, she's going to be turned into one. This ain't going to go well. Who passed away a year and a half ago. So my sister made sure that Alejandra was going to be with us. That's really sweet. It's it's so kind. You can tell she's a, a, a sweet woman. Um, but I don't know. I think you need to recognize the obsession that your daughter has with you because it's going to impact this little girl. I could just see a nightmare happening. Now that Alejandra is coming, I'm going to become a mother again. And I have forgotten. Oh, God, her face then. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, no. I'd sleep with one eye open if I was Alejandra. Jesus Christ. I think probably just the nails because we have a lot to do. We have to like what? fix Alejandra's room today. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Alejandra, if your orange juice ever smells like bleach, that's why. It just sucks that, like, we can't do the things that, you know, we love to do. She's adopting a child who's lost their mother to cancer. Grow up. <laughs> like, you have to go get your own threat. Your mother can't be your best friend, especially through this process. This little girl needs a family. And your mother's excited to do that for her sister's daughter, her niece. It's, it's going to become her daughter. You need to step aside, grow up, go out into the world, get a job, travel, meet a guy, meet a girl, but do whatever you want. This is why you have to instill a bit of independence in your children. Like, you can't make them your life. We're already not spending as much quality time as I'd like to. Tough. Tough. She's giving a little girl a home. Just get over it and put a shirt on. Do you think that... With Alejandra being here and all, it's gonna, like, affect their relationship at all? It'll make it more normal. Uh-huh. Put a little bit of healthy distance in there. I, I, I really do hope that this, um, this goes well for this little girl. Like, she's already been through so much, and she's gonna have this ass head just bully her or look down on her. Because she's a little girl. This is not healthy at all. Yeah. Um, if I was Alejandra, um, I would pour your own cereal, I would only drink from the fridge, um, and I would maybe set a camera up in your room. Yeah. Locks on the doors kind of deal. Kind of took a dark, sinister twist at the end there, didn't it? Like, tell me I'm wrong. That's just messed up on many levels. Well, guys, thank you so much for sending this to me. It reminds me every day why I don't like to go outside my front door. Because people like this exist. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like and love, cross my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.